welcome to In Touch with Officer Donna Ray, the DA. I am your host, Allison Beck, and today on In Touch, Officer Don and Ray, the DA, discussed the cost of crime and how it affects victims. Thank you for listening, and please join us next week. First started passing mandatory sentencing laws, so the people started going to prison, and it took us about 15 or 20 years to get the crime rate back down. In Jan on January 26, 2008, January 26, 2008, I was at a press conference with Jim Newberry and Ronnie Baston, and we announced the lowest crime rate in 33 years. Right? So what happens? Within two or three weeks, the newspaper starts saying, "We got to let people." out of prison. It costs too much to incarcerate people. Sure enough, so then what happens is is the legislature starts pushing people out of the out of prison. And then in 2011, our legislature, guess what? They passed this House Bill 463, which is criminal friendly stuff. And the crime the property crime has increased 28% since then. The violent crime has dropped 10% since then. Why? Because we put the violent thugs in custody, put them in prison or in jail. And the property criminals are put right back on the street and continue to do what they do best, and that's commit crimes. That's where we are today, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, that's where we are. Okay. What did you want to show us here before I got us on the other track? Just up in New York City, or would you bring it here? No, what I I got a, a uh, I got about a twenty-page book booklet pamphlet that I paid thirty-two dollars for, and I've been looking for this for a long time. It's called Victim Costs and Consequences: A New Look, and it has to do with the cost of the cost of crime as opposed to the cost of incarceration. I'm going to tell you, the people that, that pass our laws haven't examined the cost of crime at all. At all. It's only the cost of incarceration. Now this thing did a serious study that talked about the cost of crime. Up to this point, everybody's used this out-of-pocket loss. For example, you go out of the studio today and somebody holds you up. Well, you're probably a bad example. You probably carry several thousand dollars <laughs> in your pocket. But if, and they hold you up and they take a hundred dollars from you. That's the cost of a robbery. Mm -hmm. Now, typically, people are all upset about that. And it requires, uh, you change your lifestyle if that happens. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of people have counseling as a result of that. If it's a burglary, a lot of people move. Those kind of things. They talked about the quality of life changes in addition to mental health care, uh, productivity, all of those things. And I'm going to put all of this together and guess what? We're going to dwarf the cost of incarceration. We'll see you next week on In Touch.